All right, so real quick here, um, I just wanted to make another little quick video here um, to go over uh, how to get your settings set up. I know that um, it can get kind of confusing, and uh, every time I open a game, it gets really blurry, and it was uh, really frustrating to figure out uh, how to get the graphics better. Um, so I'm just going to run a quick through little video on how to do that here. Um, if you go to config, uh, this will be the first one. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, dual core and idle skipping are both checked. Um, that will speed everything up so much especially if you have a nice computer uh, it can run a lot more there and then make sure that JIT recompiler is on um, and as far as frame limit goes uh, some games that I would play uh, would play faster than they're meant to be um, which would be really frustrating because it would like be a speeded up version of the game uh, so you can go here to frame limit um, and if you do need to limit it you can limit it to 60 or 50 uh, based on what works best um, if it's trying to run it at 120 frames and it's just going too fast um, so that would be just just make sure it's set to auto, but um, if you have any problems, you know where to go uh, So that's all good for that. Um, all these other tabs are really uh, nothing you need to worry about uh, Graphics this is where uh, you can really make sure it works good um, The back end here it really it depends on what game you're playing. Um, it'll have the different uh, ones here um, But just try to experiment um, With which one works best with uh, the, the, the certain game uh, mine always works best with Direct 3D, so um, I just run that in all my games. Um, and then you'll have your adapter, which is your graphics card, if you have one. Um, you'll put that there. And then a full screen aspect, obviously you want to set that to auto, unless you're having problems. Um, full screen, obviously, being synced on. And you can go here to enhancements, and you can actually change uh, the internal resolution of the games that you're playing. Uh, so you can make them a lot more uh, than the normal 640 by 528 here. Um, you can actually make it a lot better graphics here, uh, so that's always helpful. Uh, you can also turn anti-aliasing on. I'd recommend keeping it low, um, unless you know your computer can handle it. And same with the filtering here. Uh, but besides that, really nothing else you need to worry about. Maybe widescreen hack on, that kind of makes sure it fits your screen, which is nice. Uh, so I always have that on. Uh, but as far as that, just make sure uh, that these are low here and turn this up to make it look a lot better. Um, I've also had another problem playing in-game where I'll open the game and um, it will actually open it back in the native resolution so what I have to do is I just alt tab out of the game um, and then I just have to reopen it here and make sure that this is selected and then just hit close again and it will fix the game so if you ever run into that problem uh, just mi uh, minimize it real quick and go to graphics enhancements and change the size real quick and then hit close again and it will all be good uh, for that but that's a little bug that it does have but hopefully this helped. Um, I'll be coming out with a few more videos here uh, on Dolphin uh, just to kind of make sure you guys fully understand everything uh, to get it all set up. Hopefully this helps and 